you so much, sir. Yeah, with due respect to everybody, and uh, thank you, organizers, for choosing such a symbiotic area for the venue. And uh, thank you again for giving a very dysbiosis topic for the debate. And I think there is no conflict of interest for this particular topic. The agenda that we'll be taking you through is what is calorie restriction? What are the other forms? And let me tell you at the start here that intermittent fasting is actually kind of a part of calorie restriction. What are the mechanisms and benefits of both? Newer studies which have come, but however, there have been certain heterogeneities within the studies which we need to really be very careful before we embark upon the conclusion. So I'm sure the hands which were raised for time-restricted feeding may come down after the data which would be shown. Importance of diet quality. A lot of studies which are done, I think we are forgetting that what diet quality is assessed, whether it's a CR study or whether it's an intermittent fasting study. But that's important. We want to throw some light on that. Acute restriction of calorie versus chronic restriction of calorie. How both are important and how we take it from there. And importantly, we are having drugs of calorie restriction mimetics, which has not been there for intermittent fasting or TRE. And we have natural calorie restriction mimetics and physiological drugs, which will be hitting the market very, very soon from the trials. And that's where would lie the future of calorie restriction. So that is how it looks. I'm going to tell you story of a scientist, story of a man, story of a common Indian and a scientist who thinks that he or she can do intermittent fasting and this is one of his picks where he thinks that yes it is possible the resemblance to anybody in this hall is not possible this is only for tutorial pictorial and symbiosis uh, reasons calorie restriction low calorie intake lower than previous intake lower than average intake for individual for the same body type avoiding malnutrition making sure that each nutrient is adequate now this is what is a basic thing that you reduce some portion of the food without causing a disease without causing an iatrogenic reduction in micronutrient without causing any problem and giving benefits of weight giving benefits of metabolism across the spectrum that's how they started in the 1970s. It started all with the studies on the mice. And we have a lot of studies which talked about that, yes, calorie restriction is good and improves the longevity of mice and monkeys also. I'm sure uh, my opponent would show you slides like this. But let me tell you here that IF does not work for people, those who are near normal BMI, even if they want to lose weight. And that is the place where which would use that would be only calorie restriction. Can I have a pointer, please? Apart from this, the mechanism, if you see, there is a shift in master regulator, there is a shift in energy metabolism, there is a decreased rate of aging with decrease in calories, a very, very important action which increases life, which reduces your chronic diseases. Nowadays, 80% of the people are dying because of chronic diseases or the non-communicable diseases. That's your heart disease, that's obesity, that's your diabetes, that's hypertension, that's kidney diseases, and that's your cholesterol metabolism which takes over. And that's where we are trying to avoid or we are trying to prevent these things, including the cognitive dysfunction, including all these things. So what we know is that calorie restriction is a gold standard intervention for slowing the rate of biological aging. Who doesn't want to look young? Who doesn't want to look young from internal as well as external? Thank you. Due to a strong association with lifespan extension in different organisms, including human. Calorie restrictions is very, very famous in youngsters in our country also. I'll tell you what exactly happens in intermittent fasting. This is what some people would try to use intermittent fasting. Eat here, do not eat here. Eat here on these days, do not eat here. Eat here, again, increase the time. Now, a population in the US eats for 15 hours and sleeps for the rest of the time. A population in Japan doesn't do it that way. Similarly, for Indians, those who get up late and sleep late, the duration of eating is quite long, but for China it is 10 hours. I'll show you some interesting studies that how intermittent fasting studies are not interpreted by the time of feeding that they allow, and that's where the result suddenly comes that IF is good. But IF also means if actually. So there are no biomarkers for longevity. We are still waiting that we measure it. Impossible to do long-term RCTs for both, and short-term studies are very much there, and one of the landmark studies Comparing both of these came just in April 2022. There are many benefits, some of which I told you earlier. More importantly, delays sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is the reduction in the muscle, protects colon health, lowers 
and decreases the progression of cancer, incidences, and a lot of other diseases, including arthritis. But there have been not enough studies on large heterogenic population. That's what we need to know. In this particular study, Chinese actually eat only for around 10.5 hours, so they reduce that for eight hours. So only two hours of restriction, and that's how we cannot really interpret that particular study. But however, even with that particular two hours also, it said that intermittent fasting is no superior to caloric restriction. This is one of the most hot oven study that has come and this also one important thing is your biggest meal should not be interacting in the time of your day but China biggest meal is usually in the middle of the day which was not influenced by so that study itself had an issue where it was important to understand it is really a need to get into and look into I would suggest you not to distract the audience please no, so no one best diet for weight loss from intermittent fasting is allowed. There is a small decrease in window of time you are eating probably. And the headlines this study made is that intermittent fasting or time-restricted eating or time-restricted feeding is not a magic diet trick after all. So what happens is intermittent fasting also takes the help of calorie restriction itself. It is a much more effective form only if done with calorie restriction. So finally you boil down the IF timing with calorie restriction. If you have not restricted the, I'll show you again photos and some studies that if you have not reduced the calories with IF, your, this thing is not going to work at all because IF or TRE is a part of this. If you look at the life's essential age, diet is one of the important prongs. And again, our AHA and ADA talks about reduction of calories, adjust, adjusting the calories to give a good amount of life, to give a good amount of control even for diabetes. This is one of the slides I have shown you earlier, but there are again important issues of lowering body weight, reducing T3, decreases SNS activity, sympathetic nervous system, another benefit, reduces inflammatory cytokines, immune aging, and improves the markers. Importantly, I would like to show you other pros of calorie restriction, that it increases your survival genes, it switches your genetic loci, and when you eat less, there is a digestive system which rest which increases longevity. Now this is an important line in the center over here and also you could be eating high volumes of food with low calories and still be fully satiated over there. Now that's an important part. We've had national and international studies talking about acute restriction of calories. One of them was from Pune itself. Dr. Unikrishnan had that study where they reduced the calorie acutely and they saw that yes it showed benefit in weight loss, it showed benefit in diabetes, it showed benefit in blood pressure and other metabolic parameters. Hepatic fat or the liver fat, which shows over here, also talks about the twin cycle hypothesis. It was based on this and diabetes remission. The whole decade that we've been talking about from Professor Roy Taylor that, yes, it's again the restriction of the calorie that is going to affect and improve our most of the diseases. But still scientists are thinking whether I should be doing this or I should be doing that. That's somebody from NIH. And... This is one photo which, is, which came before the data was out. So he was still thinking, I what should you do? But he's changed. Now let us see whether our Indian scientists are going to change or not. So somebody who started thinking that in the intermittent fasting was good, in the middle of time-restricted feeding, he started eating. If you saw very closely, there was a butter sachet over here. And now if you see the butter sachet is gone and the intermittent fasting, if you do not restrict calories, your Again, IF or your TRE is not going to be very helpful. So that's a very important landmark observation that we make. And we've seen a lot of people, sit, young people also in McDonald's or in uh, CCDs, how they start with an IF, but they land up eating extra calories. So all if that is true and it is science, what is a natural thing? Is there a place on earth where if you actually eat less, people live longer? Can I mean, anybody tell me that? a place on earth. There are many, I'll show you only one. It's the Okinawa Islands, one of two, a, a lot of people are telling other names. I've just shown you one for the pictorial purpose. They eat 30% less calorie and they live nearly more than 100, 110 years. Another important landmark evidence, which is there very much from uh, current people staying on planet earth. So now because of these observations, we have definition of CRM, we have, we have drugs which have been developed for reducing this. A lot of people come and say, a lot of youngsters and even the oldsters also ask us, doctor, give me a pill which will reduce my appetite. Give me a pill which will, with which I will not eat more. And I think those are completely now the 
going to be the norm of treatment in the future years. Of course, we have some as GLP-1 analogs. Dr. Rucha is going to talk about that uh, in the next uh, debate. However, we have exercise as CRM, we have surgery, we have antioxidant, we have appetite suppressants, we have metal chelators and others which are on the way. And the, more importantly, there are, these are called as a lazy dietist pill. Typical garden variety patient because everybody wants to eat but they don't want to gain weight. It's like everybody wants to go to uh, Jannat but nobody wants to die. Now that's a very important line over there that yes, these drugs are available absolutely. And that's the genetic loci, your CRM, uh, myometics can change. We have a drug development full line going on over there. And these are your AMPK activators. One of them is metformin and others are already on the way, which severely we have certain activators, we have CR mimetics, and also we have autophagy enhancers, mTOR inhibitors. IF enhances autophagy, but CR also enhances autophagy, and CR can be more beneficial when you look at it from this kind of an angle. Do I have time, judges? I need to know that. Three minutes more. So that's going to be one of my important slides, and if you compare now the both, calorie restriction is gold standard. Calorie restriction gives both satiety and satiation because you are eating for a good amount of time, but, but the food that you eat is lesser in calories. You have essential nutrients, but you have limited calories. You give rest with CR and increase longevity. You can feed without the patient going into hypoglycemia or going into too much of a hunger. You are allowing the person to eat. So diabetics, it is going to be very, very helpful. This is more practical because there is no hypoglycemia. There is nothing at the problem. People, even if you are, whether you are a driver, whether you are a pilot, or whether you are whatever, there's not going to be an issue with your job. No issues with quality of life, the diet quality of maintain. The whole idea is that the healthfulness of a diet, which gives you total nutrients, should be maintained, and which is maintained by calorie restriction, and this is not maintained, here the diet quality is compromised. And in future, we have CR mimetics, we have CR mimetic lifestyle modification, we have a lot of things. But if you look at time restricted feeding, it is actually feed and fast, but people usually fast and feed. Now that is more where the, your time restricted feeding can go wrong completely. That's why you need even re restriction of calories over here. If you, if in case you need to build that much amount of Muscle building, if you want to go to gym, then you need to have that much amount of calories. Again, the restriction, restriction has to be reduced and you have to give enough proteins. You may be hungry and tired. As our scientist I showed you from NIH, he was telling that I do feel hungry and sometimes he cannot really work. Hypos may demotivate you from completely from a time restricted feeding. That's why you can't use for even in diabetics for a longer time. It depends upon what time restricted feeding you are making. That quality is compromised and eating window. If you choose it between 8 to 4 p.m. and you have a social function in the evening that social gatherings are really compromised people avoid going outside because of time restricted feeding and it creates a lot of issues if you have in-laws eating more so and more GI longevity and this is where I think I would like to rest my case and I wait for Dr. Manshi Sabu to come over and take over that's my final slide talking about how you take CR mimetics and how this is going to be shown thank you so much